is be on here very more double exposure help go and find her book i don't actually remember how you do this actually uh do you i remember you do actually lock pick it is this where the package is this must have the package vin was worried about i could bring it to him Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, what happens if we give it to him now? Because last time I, I finished the Gwen stuff and they just like auto did that, right? So if we just deliver the package, does that just finish that and do we not need to bother? Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. More than friends. Oh, friends at least. Maybe with a few benefits. Oh, uh, 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 yeah? <laughs> Such as? Such as fetching packages from down the hall. <laughs> sure. All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You'd rather hard be relevant. bargain, Garfield. I saw one of the trophies is actually, like, not ever like using it. the favor, so we'll probably try to do you're that You're full here. of surprises. So she's still not ready yet, then? Well, it seems like that must be a thing you have to do, though, right? Oh, I forgot that's what it was. You get the spoon. I don't know. So yeah, it looks like you must... You have to do the Gwen thing, then? Which makes sense, because obviously, like, Gwen is a important character down the road. Actually, she well, needs to have this book, too, for later, too. Right? might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch what of What can you do? I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Uh, okay. Actually, she said she had a finished book and that a publisher had made an offer. Why? You're kidding! Oh, good for her. She must have been proud as hell. Hmm. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Okay. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Um, why are you here? What does Yasmin want? Why are you... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Well, too yeah. bad. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. Okay. 
I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident. Yeah, and that's also a thing. Like, we never actually see the city, right? Is also a weird thing about this. It's like we spend the entire time on campus. Um, Give them a chance. I'm sure they're doing their best. This is their best? What a horrifying thought. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? Uh... I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? <sighs> Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. Okay. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? I... I don't know. I guess there were a couple of things I noticed, but... That doesn't mean she... What do you mean? What... things? Safi was acting happy, but... She'd been smoking a lot that night. I think... She was being secretive, so we wouldn't worry about her. I see. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved Lazy Sunday after. Whenever she spoke, you just. Pick this one, I guess, because it's the worst one. Safi was the most thoughtful person I ever knew. This is the one. Sure, I, I guess. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Okay. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Okay. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go straight to it. Okay. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. There. 
I told you. Don't contact me on this phone. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's and how we got introduced only to her. No calls. And the other hmm. place. It, this yeah. sounds interesting. It's like this well, happened I'm, I'm sure first, the right? Know that talk already, to even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call. What are they referring uh, to? Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Uh... Oh gosh, yeah. This isn't what it looks like. I was just waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um... Yeah, no. This right. isn't really a great time, Loretta. We'll be done before you know it. I and Loretta also fine. is just like a completely irrelevant character. Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Lowell and Fayet. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't think I want to talk about Safi with you. Pleading the fifth, huh? Kind of an answer in and of itself, but. Do you? That's not what I said. I just... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. <laughs> if you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Uh, yeah, call a bluff. Right? You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. See, like the first playthrough, again, I knew oh, she was bluffing, but I just didn't care. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Oh, she actually goes through with it? That's kind of funny. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? Uh. I'm trying to figure out what happened to Sophie, and I wanted your help. Oh, <laughs> you're a gumshoe now. Detective Caulfield on the case. Yeah, kind of. Give me a fucking break. You know, I really thought we were cool. Well, Just we're not. Stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Okay. Uh, so... Trust you. God damn. You don't, I guess. Okay. I don't even know where to start. I thought pulling into myself would dull the pain, but it didn't. I'm just so sick of feeling sad. How else should you feel? Sophie's gone. Kind of. And there's nothing we can do about it. Listen, the last few days, 
have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? I don't really care. It was for the better. Uh, yeah. I've spent the last two days asking myself that. Over and over. I don't think there's a good answer. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Okay. Hmm. That was really the end of that section. Safi weighs heavily I am on us today. Guy. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks yeah, so this, this time precise we'll moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. <laughs> Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Okay. Ugh, Lucas gets under my so skin. We'll him. I could try to. Max. Good to see you. Uh... Who knew you were so self centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Uh... Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and uh, was that for Sunset? For the throw work? Um, no. This would have been a total nightmare for her. The self seriousness of it all would have made her skin crawl. She would have stood there. And made the dumbest faces you've ever seen. Just to get me to laugh. The fact that she isn't here right now to fuck with us. It's not fair. You 
enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. I'd like to open this up to anyone else who wants to say a few words. Okay. Um, you need anything. Moses is on the bench, right? Coffee or a particularly So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. You know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. Hey. I have a question about Sophie. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. Well, too bad. Um. I don't think... I can pretend she's still here. That what happened didn't happen. Neither option seems tenable, does it? Um. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <sighs> no, no. You wanna go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more if attack. Moses? Yeah, this is where she realizes, right? So is this the end of episode one? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. I, I legitimately don't yeah. remember where episode one ends. Anytime. <laughs> Later. I think this is it, right? I think it makes sense. What the hell was that? To be like, where's that other Moses? After we find out her power. How do I bring him back? I come in peace. I come in peace. Thank God he comes in peace. I just wanted to come in peace.
assume it's around here where things happen then, right? What's wrong? the vulgar boulder I fell in love with. Where's the easy down there? So yeah, it seems like with this you do actually have to keep track of them then, right? Because I was assuming I would just be able to go to where the, uh, the thing is. The, uh, I forgot all this is in real time too, isn't it? Yeah, supposedly. Because again, she doesn't have time travel builders anymore. For whatever reason. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. Okay. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. I can hear her. Uh. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! <sighs> Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. So this is the end of episode one, right? Open the door. What if we find one was enough? Now we should have stayed blind. Ah, geez. There you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. Still is a very awkward like ending to the episode, right? Okay. Uh, just next chapter. Don't care. Uh, actually, you know, I will end here. I'll do another episode though. So, thanks for watching.